Let's design this spare gear in front of us. Our dimensions are in millimeters, so we're gonna go new thing, metric standard millimeter, then say create. Here we are going to start with circles. Okay, we're going to go step by step. Easy and simple way to draw it. So our third circle comes and our fourth circle is there. So now this one here needs to be 75 millimeters. So 75. That one there needs to be 120. So 1 to 0. This one here needs to be 261. And that one will be 300 millimeters. So 3 double zero. Now that we have this in place, okay, we're gonna come here and click on ellipse. Now our ellipse needs to come like this. Okay. There we go. That is a big one. And we need to make sure that this one here is a 18.5 18.5 okay don't worry about it you are getting there and uh, you need to draw this line there okay there we go and this one here needs to be 22 millimeters so 22 okay and then you need to draw another line here from here to the okay and this one here needs to be because that is your point of contact of your gear so this one day needs to be 37 so 37 good now that you have that in place you need to make sure that from there to here you have 178.5 you see now you have the frame of your spur gear now you come here you draw your keyway so this one here needs to be um, 14 millimeters so one four and uh, from here to there you need seven okay seven millimeters okay there you go now you need to make sure that from there to here you have 47.5 uh, 47.5 that is good now that you have this the next thing that you need to do now is uh, to go on 3d model you go on 3d model you click on extrude okay now you need to extrude this part here okay by 90 so 90 both sides of your drawing plane there we go now you come here you click on plus you need now to extrude we need to be careful let me do this one to one so that we don't have you know problem of uh, seeing what's happening so you click on the small one okay in the between you click on that one you click on this one now you click on this whole thing here this whole thing okay now you need to extrude it by 50 millimeters of so 50 okay both sides of your drawing plan again then you say okay right now you have the frame of your spare gear. Now you come here, you need to create fillet. So you click on that one, you click on the fillet, okay? You click on this other side as well, you click on the say fillet as well. Fillet again, then a fillet of 5.5 millimeters, then you say enter, okay? Now that you have that one, you've designed your tooth. Now you need to multiply and have many teeth now. So you're gonna come on 3D model, you click on circular pattern, right? Now you need to choose the features that you want to multiply. So that's one and that one. Now against which axis, okay? You need to choose the axis against which you need to rotate. You come, you click on origin, which, ax which axis, axis is it? So it's not Z, you can see it's not Y. Now it's Y, it's uh, X, as you can see. X goes that way. How many teeth you need? You need 14. So you say one four. Right. Then you say okay. <clears throat> After that, you can now choose uh, your material. So now you're gonna click on generic here. 
then you choose the material so you can say carbon steel there you go now you have your drawing design here so you have your spur gear so it was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you i hope that you enjoyed it I hope that you're gonna enjoy it for now i'm gonna ask you to take care of yourself please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share don't forget to like see you on the next video bye